Good morning, everybody. We got some snow. We got some of that white stuff on the ground. Still some little flurries coming down. You can't really see them, but it's good enough to fly. And it's actually a good scene to, to take some good shots from up above with all the white on, this, on the ground. So um, maybe if I get some chance during lunch, hopefully it's not melted yet. Or maybe after work, I'll try and get some good shots. Uh, going, I'm headed on my way to work right now Starting at 7 Might not make it on time But it's okay It's about 5 minutes Might be about 5 minutes late No more than 5 minutes Anyways, first of all Just want to give a shout out to um, I'll be droned For being my very first subscriber Thank you very much Also want to give a shout out to Roger and Kim and to Drone Life for subscribing to my channel. And I want to give a special shout out to Drone Pool for taking me over to their channel, just checking their stuff out. Um, started watching Drone Pool not too long ago. Um, guy seems like a really cool, down to earth guy. I love the way he talks, just so chill all the time. Um, and I, and I love it. I love the content. It's just great. And uh, I love the community that you guys got going. Um, so I figured I want to be a part of that. I want to grow and I want to learn with you guys. So thank you guys for subscribing to me. Thank you for showing some love on my channel. Checking out some of the videos and for just letting me know that you guys care about other droners. Um, even the very very beginners with no subscribers thank you guys I will be posting I have my drone here with me in the back seat over here so I'm gonna be showing you guys the things that I've done to it and the things that I've done to my transmitter um, I bought a gimbal for my drone which hasn't really worked out very well the gimbal works itself but it's a little heavy so it hasn't really worked out for my drone <laughs> I do have the F100 Ghost, so I'll be showing you guys the things that I've done, the modifications that I've done to it, just a little bit here, a little bit there, but um, I hope you guys enjoy. show you is the transmitter. What this is to the transmitter since I do like to fly with my thumbs. Flying. Um, first of all you can see it's a force one transmitter for the drone. Um, 
So what I did is I took a PS3 controller, I cut the joysticks off, as you can see there. Um, I cut them off, made a small hole in there, and I was trying to figure out a way to attach them to the transmitter. So what I did is I took a uh, tube from inside a pen, as you can see there, that's what that is. And I put it inside the joystick. So what I did then was I put it in, in uh, that hole that goes in the transmitter. Uh, but it was too, the hole in the transmitter was a little bit too big. So what I did is I used a hot glue. Um, I used a lot of hot glue for the things that I did to the drone. Um, so that's how I got that to stay. And what I actually did, just for the sake of showing you guys how I attached it on there, is I heated it up part and I took it off just so I could show you guys exactly how I put it on there. Um, so now let me let's move on to the drone and for the drone the first thing I did was um, just got a little bit bigger battery which there you can see it's a 2300 million um, still it's XT30 connectors I didn't have to buy any adapter or anything. It does give me a little bit longer flight time than the regular 1800 million. The other thing, the first, one of the very first things I did is I drilled the holes. I drilled some holes into the uh, case. This is the original case that it comes with for the camera. And what I did, you can see there, is I drilled a hole. It's kind of just cut out a big hole there for um, just to get easy access to the memory card. Um, which you can see there that I can just take it out, take it out, put it back in. Um, that way I don't have to keep opening and closing the case, taking the camera out, putting it back in. And also for the charger so I can get into the charger a lot faster and charging it. So now moving on, the cable that you can see here hanging is the XT30 connector for the gimbal, um, which I did. I do have a gimbal, I put it on my drone at times, but it gets too heavy. I don't know if you guys have seen the video where I recorded with the gimbal on and it got too heavy for the drone and it just came down and never got back up. Um, so let me take the top off, take the top off and I'll show you what I did underneath the hood. Um, so the first, one of the fir other first things that I did was I put those LEDs on there, those red LEDs that you see on there. Um, I split the wires that go straight into the into the board and I soldered them on there um, so they go straight into that thing that I'm pointing at right now um, so when you turn the drone on as soon as it starts flying as soon as the blue LEDs come on the red lights come on um, simultaneously with them so one of the other things that I did oh for the XT30 connector there um, what I did is I soldered them on straight to the, uh, like to the battery power, I guess. Um, so I put some soldering on there and then I put some hot glue on there as well just to, to give it some extra, extra hold and extra protection just so it wouldn't fall off. Um, and now let me show you one of the cameras. The camera that is on here is the camera that you see here. Um, I took it off of a X5, of a SEMA X5 um, clone drone um, that a couple co-workers have at work and they don't really use it anymore so I took the camera off and since it fits on there, put it on there, I used it on that and then this LED there, the LED that comes with the drone, all I did was I just cut it off a little bit and moved it down. Um, underneath the camera just to make room for the camera All right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug the battery in and I'm gonna show you turn the lights off and show you what the LEDs look like show you the, the camera that it's working and so you'll see right now I'm gonna turn this stuff on put the phone down delete the lights, plug the drone in, and hit the light. Light, there we go. All 
Alright, so you see the camera there is ready. The green light means it's ready. Um, check the SD card in there so it's ready to record, ready to take pictures, ready for action. So now it's got the transmitter on. Let me show you the camera. Um, so the thing I like about the transmitter, this one, is that all the labels or the buttons are actually labeled. So here I'm going to long press the button and you can see the camera start flashing. So when it starts flashing, that means it's actually recording. Um, so I can see I push the button again, stop recording, push it once, goes red, goes back to green, that's the picture that we just took. Um, as I was saying about the transmitter, what I like about it is that it's actually all labeled. Uh, one of my co-workers got the Bugs 3, and his transmitter is got the Bugs 3. The only thing you can really tell is the red button on there. You see it can start and stop the motors. Um, but everything else is, there's no labels, there's nothing on there. And here you can see I'm just unlocking the motors. Um, you can see the red LEDs come on right when the blue lights, when the blue ones come on. Hey, I'm just going to put the top back on and show you guys what it looks like with the top on. So you can see the LED lights. Put them on there. And it has a white color on there. It's like a, kind of like an old Corvette. So that's everything, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.